هذا هو اليوم الذي صنعه الرب فلنفرح ولنتهلل به المسيح قام من بين الأموات ووطئ الموت بالموت ووهب الحياة للذين في القبور المسيح قام من بين الأموات ووطئ الموت بالموت ووهب الحياة للذين في القبور Christos anesti epne kron thanaton, thanaton batisas, keti sentit ni masi zoif karis ameno. Welcome back to a, another uh, segment uh, of uh, Big Bang Theory. Actually, we're, we're beginning a new episode. Uh, everything's cleared off. So, uh, let's begin. Messiah Kham, Christos Anesti, and Christ is Risen. It is uh, 5 hours and 20 minutes into the day of uh, Thursday, June 2nd, uh, 2016. I took most of the day off on... Uh, well, yesterday on June first, so there's not much, there's nothing with nothing to really to vlog on, and I had to make some corrections. Uh, as I stated before, this is a scientific journal. This is why a, a, a log, a scientific log, is a vlog uh, that is done for scientific purposes, and you uh, don't delete anything. You simply make a note of what the error is and what corrections they're going to be made, and that's what was done yesterday. I, I had to. Uh, amend uh, the video uh, that I had initially put up uh, talking about uh, Academia University Open IP TV uh, because uh, uh, one of the uh, the channels that I had sort of been reviewing for Open IP TV, Kitty's Mama, uh, blocked the entire video because I used a minute and twenty minute and twenty four seconds of their uh, of their show. Uh, I actually, it wasn't, I was just simply, at that point, I was simply testing the camera, so it was, it was handheld, it was shaky, it was, uh, but you can hear the audio cl clearly, but I was talking over, I was talking over, just simply using the channel as an example of uh, the quality, uh, quality programming you can find on YouTube, uh, that if a person is wanting to replace uh, 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 cable TV, they can't afford it anymore, um, they want something comparable to a family show, family viewing, like just like Disney Channel or uh, Nickelodeon for the kids. Well, uh, Kitty's Mama is, is this type of show. You get a good quality show. Uh, there's nothing offensive about it. There, you know, it's a good show. And this is what I was talking about. Uh, uh, so I go back to sort of see what's going on to sort of push it out after it went up. And I found out later on at night that uh, it had been blocked. Uh, by Kitty's mom, there was the, the, the on copyright issues. The, 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 I, this is the whole thing about uh, 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 YouTube. Is YouTube uh, censors videos uh, right off the bat? They don't actually uh, have. You don't have any recourse. The first step is to punish. The first step is to uh, state that you're a villain. Basically, that you are an evil person who has who committed uh, uh, copyright fraud, and they have these schools that you have to go to sort of to, to amend your uh, uh, your illnesses that you don't understand the copy, uh, uh, how copyright law works. And, uh, you know, they want you to sort of under, to behave yourself and be a good uh, minion. This is the uh, fundamentals of it. Uh, and, of course, if you don't do this, the, the strike comes on your channel, and... Uh, uh, it's it, it has various repercussions. It actually destroy your entire channel. So this whole thing for a minute and twenty four seconds uh, of my use of their content while I was reviewing it uh, constituted a copyright block. They blocked the entire video, and so it forced me to create go back to that video the, the May May thirtieth and May thirty first to go back to amend the end to take take off the offensive bit that caused the thing and re upload it again. I did file an issue that this is so-called so fair use, but this goes beyond fair use. This is this is an issue, not an issue of fair use here. It's not an issue of fair, really an issue. This is an issue of what's happened to the United States. This is YouTube censoring something because of a law, the the, D, the Digital Millennium Copyright Act, uh, which completely violates the uh, uh, First Amendment. The, uh, our, if, if you're an American and you believe in the ideals of free speech, that's the First Amendment. And the First Amendment reads, Congress shall make no law respecting an establishment of religion or prohibiting of 
or, or prohibiting the free speech thereof, or abridging the freedom of speech, or of the press, or of the right to people of people to of people to peaceably assemble, or to petition petition the government for a uh, redress of grievances. So here's our part: is government shall create no law, uh, make no law, make uh, <clears throat> government Congress shall make no law, uh, prohibiting. Uh, or abridging the uh, freedom of speech. In other words, the DCMA is fundamentally unconstitutional. And the thing is, what they're trying to do is they're trying. And this is they, don't even forget. Don't, don't you know? With all this whole, whole uh, argument over uh, the Second Amendment, the right to bear arms. The First Amendment is now the First Amendment is now gone, but no one's arguing about the First Amendment anymore. No one's sort of paying attention to that our our argument, the the whole issue that uh, the First Amendment is now gone. There is no no more First Amendment in the United States. What you have now is a DCMA, and you have a whole section in here, and this is actually from the copyright law, that section one hundred seven, uh, the limitations uh, on exclusive rights. It's called fair use. Uh, a number of uh, a number of uh, YouTubers pop, pop this up. It says notwithstanding notwithstanding the provisions of uh, 606, uh, uh, 106 and 6, 106A. That's the uh, uh, exclusive rights. That's the, the digital copyright right that gives people the rights to their content or whoever owns the content. Right? It's not the one that's created. It's the person who owns the content. Uh, the fair use of a copyright uh, copyright work, including such use by uh, reproduction or in copies uh, or photo records, uh, phono records, or by uh, any other means specified uh, by that section for the purposes of criticism, comment, news reporting, teaching, including uh, uh, multiple copies for classroom use, scholarship, or research is not an infringement of copyright. This is the actual law here. Yet, YouTube, in its application of this law, of the copyright law, flags everything first, takes down the video, it censors, and, and, and the ultimate result is censoring opinion. It censors, it censors criticism. It censors comments. It censors the news. It censors reporting. It censors teaching. It censors scholarship. It censors... Uh, research and this, I, 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 watch any video and then right on my channel it says I'm a research channel this is research and science this is behind the scenes in research this is a scientific vlog this is a scientific log and it doesn't matter and the bizarre part is is that this is what's happening all over the, and this is this not not just I mean, Google doing this this is also Kitty's mama uh, to a certain degree, uh, Clintus TV has done the same thing. They're another family channel. Uh, he sort of set up his own business. He's now under, uh, uh, I think it's the uh, the uh, uh, the group he's with. He's under full screen, I think it is. Uh, let me go back and sort of check my notes here. Uh, he's with full screen. Yeah, full screen, Inc. This is his a uh, partnership. Uh, and uh, he... Didn't he didn't censor? He didn't block it, but it's noted. But other videos I've had content in, again for teaching purposes, for scholarly purposes, have been blocked, has been taken down, has been deleted by YouTube. The copyright, the way they apply copyright, the way YouTube applies copyright, is they punish you first without sort of, without paying attention to what the actual law says or what it what it what it should be, and they attack you. And ironically enough, Google itself was attacked uh, by Oracle, and they went to court over six years over API uh, certain packages, API packages that were in Java, as in terms of whether or not it was fair use. And, it just, and this article comes up in Guardian here. It's uh, stated uh, uh, May thirty first, two thousand sixteen. Uh, Google fair use victory over Oracle f uh, for uh, for Android software. In other words, they, they, they themselves were victims of this whole, whole thing, and they had to go to court over this. And they fought, and they won. But the thing is, if you look at the court case carefully, there wasn't any, there wasn't any uh, immediate... In other words, when, when, when Oracle sued uh, Google, 
over uh, the Java API app, uh, uh, sections, and I'll come back in a minute to finish finish this up. In the preceding break, in the break, uh, you'll see you were you would have seen preceding uh, you would have seen preceding graphics. These graphics are the strikes, the takedowns uh, of particular videos. This is the evidence of censorship by YouTube. Even though Google itself, when it went into court and was sued by Oracle, was not forced to take down Google itself. It was not forced to take down uh, Android, which had the so-called offending. Uh, uh, articles of uh, code in it, they called the trademark code, uh, and because it was called intellectual property right, it was uh, Oracle sued over the issue of uh, of the whole copyright issue over that certain code was protected and was the owner was owned by um, Oracle and that Google improperly used this in their uh, uh, thing. Uh, Google argued that it was uh, fair use, and I think is what happened is that while Google won. And this, this, in this case, was in, in the course for six years. Prior to the winning, the there was no preemptive, there was no prior actions by Oracle on Google. In other words, Google kept operating with this uh, line of code because they hadn't been proven guilty yet. There's a there, there's a there's a section within the in the Constitution that says innocent until proven guilty that we have to have due process before that due process occurs you have the presumption of, of innocence. This is gone in YouTube. This is not applied in YouTube. It is guilty first, and then you have, uh, if you if you can defend yourself, then you get everything back. But that could take, well, this is the whole thing here, it takes up to 30 days. Right? There's a 30-day review period. By that time, the damage that can be done to a channel like this, particularly if you're doing something brand new, if you're doing some brown, great, brown, uh, groundbreaking work, it will be all gone. It will be destroyed. There will be nothing left. And what they're trying to do is they're trying to get get rid of anyone who's a dissenter. This is an attack on dissent. This is censorship. This is totalitarianism. And it, what it does is it, this whole situation, the whole environment gets people used to being in a totalitarian environment. They say, okay, it's not so bad, I can work my way around it. And they say, oh, well, it's only a minority of people who have these particular issues. But it's, if you look, watch any video at any point in time, you'll find, if you watch a, 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 a vlogger long enough, they'll always come and point out to you, well, I had to remove that video, or I had to remove the, the audio from that section there, because there was background music. In other words, if the music is in the background, and you're talking, because the music is in the background that's copyrighted, that video will be deleted. So you're not listening to it. It's in the background. You're having a discussion where the music is in the background. This is, this is what you're listening to, or you're in a mall and they're playing this particular music. Should have been fair use, but no, that's not, no, no, no. The video gets deleted. And it doesn't matter how much you argue fair use, there are certain videos that will be taken down and will never be restored again because they simply refuse, they, all they have to do is say no. There is no court proceedings. There is no legal bindingness. This is about, and what it is, it's, it's about the individual control, whoever is making the decision. This individual, individual person has an authority to say yes or no. This is bureaucracy. This is, this is what's happened to the United States. There is no more effective constitution. The, you've had the removal of the First Amendment. You have the removal of the uh, and limitation of the Second Amendment. Uh, Second Amendment. Uh, there's no more presumption of innocence. This and then this is done by. Is it, Clint is not a big person. He's not a big lawyer or anything like that. He's an average person. Same thing with Kitty's mom. They're average people. What are they doing? They're participating in the totalitarian system. They become used to the totalitarian system. They become used to an idea that the American no longer has free speech. They become used to the idea that the United States uh, says 
that most of the Constitution is null and void. And they go along on their merry way celebrating Memorial Day, Veterans Day, and most people in the United States have no idea why these holidays even exist. They pay a, little bit, a bit of lip service to it and say, oh, yeah, yeah, we respect the war dead, we respect our, our troops, uh, hooray for our troops, but do they really believe that these people uh, have actually done a good service for the United States? If you don't think it's reasonable to defend the rights of the Constitution, if you don't think it's reasonable to defend the, the, the principles that the flag stands for, then what do you think of people who go and die for the, for the flag? I mean, the, when people go into service, they go there not for a job. They go there, they're supposed to be going there to defend the ideals, to defend the freedoms of America. The flag represents freedom. That's what they're there to fight for. They're not there for national interest. They're not there for national security. That's socialism. And for the people who go in and fight for the ideals of freedom, if you think that this is unreasonable, what's your opinion of those who go and fight and die for, for the ideals of freedom? What do you think of those who, who in World War I and in, in World War II who went and died overseas for the ideals of freedom? As a matter of fact, in, in, in Wikipedia, if you read through Wikipedia's description of these days, there's no mention of the fight for ideals of freedom. This is simply a war between two different groups. We've become so generic as a society, as so generic as a culture in the United States and the West, that nothing matters anymore. Beliefs don't matter anymore. Everything is a, a, a sort of a generic understanding of things. There's no specifics for anything. It's this guy has this belief, this guy has that belief, and everything's okay at the end. No, you know, we're all brothers, we're all sisters, we know uh, it, 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 nothing matters to me. It's all good. Really? Is this, is, how, is this how we got to where we were? Let's say the, the Union Army under Lincoln didn't care about the, United, the U.S., uh, the ideals of freedom. If we didn't have that civil war. Would we still have slavery today? Would we still have that segregation? Was the conflict that changed the United States, in many ways, as difficult as it changed the United States for the better, if that didn't occur, would we, would we be forced to, you know, to not rethink about what we did? To think how we were living our lives? Well, let's say we didn't go fight Germany when Germany was, was, was threatening to take over Europe in World War II, in World War I. Right? It was the second time the, the Germans broke out and they started creating a world war. Because they had created world, world wars first. Uh, you first had, you had the, in, in the 1800s, you had the Napoleonic Wars. And in the, in, in the 1900s, you had World War I and World, world War II. These were all fights for freedom. You had people in Europe who believed in a totalitarian state and they were breaking out and, tr and trying to create a globalized world which was uh, based on... Uh, on totalitarian, on, on, on European social ideas. Let's say we didn't care about that. Where would we be now? Who, you know, is Hitler not so bad of a guy if, if we had not gone and fought Hitler that everything would have been okay, we would have had a, this, the same good life? But no one cares about this anymore. Nobody cares about this anymore. Because it's never discussed. Never mind about the genocides that are going on now. And when I come back in the next section, after, and there'll be some more uh, graphic clips in between here, uh, we'll talk about some of the genocides that are going on and how the DCMA, the, the Digital Copyright Act, is involved. Welcome back, everyone, to our single issue uh, uh, episode of the Big Bang Theory Alice BTS vlog. We're talking about YouTube and censorship and the uh, ending, res the, the results of it. 
Uh, one of the results that are hidden, that's hidden, that's not often discussed, and very few people know about this, and I will be discussing this more, and it, this is going to, this argument's going to continue. The, and the argument doesn't mean that I'm angry and yelling and screaming. The argument is an academic argument. It simply means that I'm presenting points uh, that are called arguments uh, to sort of show how the United States is no longer free, that the Constitution of the United States is now null and void, and some of the consequences, the foreign policy consequences, as to what the, it, that uh, it comes out of this. And this is the whole thing with to do with uh, Hillary Clinton and who you vote for in the next election. Uh, and it really depends on what you believe. But we were talking more about the, the, the copyright issue here. And uh, I'm of Syrian and Greek descent. And in Syria and Greece, we know f uh, from our history, from if, if we sit down and study history close enough, that there was a lot of pressure from Europe, that you had Europe taking over Greece, particularly Germany taking over Greece from the 1800s, turning, uh, uh, forbidding the, the uh, Greek printing press, changing the language to a modern Greek, and preventing anyone from going back and learning about the history. So the, what they did is they whitewashed Germany, they whitewashed Syria, and, f and forced a lot of these people to become Europeans. Instead of the agents that they were, Greece and Europe, uh, Greece and, and and Syria are part of Asia. They're part of the Orient, uh, and the argument here co comes to be demonstrated by one of the copyrights uh, that my video has been flagged for. Uh, some of my videos have been flagged for because I was talking about you know, looking at the history of uh, drum beats uh, within the Middle East and how it spreads. Uh, all the way from Egypt uh, into Africa, and from uh, and from uh, back up to Egypt again, and through all the way through into uh, China along the Silk Road, along the and also the uh, Silk Trading routes, uh, that you have a commonality in music. This was flagged uh, by uh, a Sony Music Group. It's called IODA, uh, and it's blocked in Germany. And these were were songs in Greek. These were songs, uh, and these are a lot, some of these songs were actually rebellious. These were rebel songs. These were uh, anti-European songs. And these were flagged. Flagged for copyright and taken down in Germany. Because they have, now, you can, you can block them throughout the world, globally, all worldwide. Like, uh, Katie's mom blocked the video worldwide. It wasn't simply blocked in the United States. It was blocked worldwide. In other words, they had taken the entire video down over a, it was a, a half-hour video. That's the way, the, you know, what the BTS vlog is. There was a minute, 24 seconds in there, and they blocked the entire video for a minute, 24 seconds. Violation. That was their, that's their standard. Clintus TV has a standard that, okay, yeah, my channel's monetized. You're using my, some of my content. You can still play it. There's no restrictions. We just might add, ad, we might put ads in your video. In other words, you have an ad, an ad before the video or an end of the video. Uh, they say, oh, we might put ads on your channel uh, on the video uh, uh, if we feel like it. In other words, yeah, they're bothered by it, but it's no particular big deal. Uh, we'll deal with it in another matter. Other channels have that if you use their content, you take the and this is what Katie's mama does. Katie's mama had the entire ch video taken down for a minute twenty five minute twenty four second a uh, minute and twenty four second uh, clip that they disagreed with. Uh, and this is what they, this is what it is. It, it's they disagree with the clip because it's got their content in it, and they censor the entire thing. This is the DCMA. This this is censorship. This is what's happened to the United States. And I said, this is what, what Europe has done. Europe has done the same thing. They've, they're, they're blocking uh, history and culture of the Middle East, the, the pre-Muslim culture. In other words, because people don't understand that there is a pre-Muslim culture, there's a Christian culture, an Eastern Christian culture that exists before, that existed before Islam. And it is not European. The Christ, the, 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 the images of Christ in the pre European Christian Church were not white, but they got they have to get rid of this. They can't see, make make any uh, have any appearances of this. So what do they do when videos start pointing this out? They start pointing out the differences between uh, the Europeans in the in, in the early Christian Church that the, that is not European, that is Eastern. These videos get taken down. They get censored because you, because the music the cop the music they're using in there to sort of demonstrate this. They come out, they flag the cop, they flag it as copyright, and they, that's how they take it down. See, so they don't have they don't have to go out and object to a particular uh, 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 idea. 
the way they do it is, ah, that music you're playing in there, that's copyright, that's ours. You can't have it. But wait a minute. These songs are these songs are public domain. Why are they public domain? Even if somebody who's pop, who's popular currently is singing them, why are they public domain? Because they're oral tradition. They're passed on from generation to generation. These groups that are singing are, did not write the songs. They're simply performing something that was written maybe a thousand years ago. So this that song that they're singing is public domain, and therefore what they're singing is public public domain. You can't own something that you that you never wrote. And this is, this is not, well, I'm pretty sure it is understood. This, but this is how you control history. This is how you control the message. This is what totalitarianism, total, totalitarianism is. And you see average people here now participating, average Americans participating in this. The United States is no longer free. I'm <laughs> sorry. 